have a fully completed campaign, it's time to drum up some players. If you have an existing group of friends, then sending invites are pretty easy. Each campaign on Roll20 has a unique join link. To gain access, you just need to supply your players with the link. You can find the join link by highlighting it in the green portion of the chat log when you first log into your campaign. You can also retrieve it from the campaign details page from your campaign page on Roll20. Not only is the join link here, but you can also email off invites to your players from here too. With the join link in hand, all you need to do is copy and paste this URL to your friends via your instant messenger or social media of choice. You can also send it through the Roll20 private messaging system if you know everyone's usernames. That's all well and good if you already have a gaming group established, but what do you do if you don't have one? This is where the looking for group system comes in. We're going to advertise our game to harvest up a couple players. From our campaigns page, we're going to open up the campaign details of our Pathfinder campaign. I'm going to choose Pathfinder for the system being played for this campaign, and set a date and time for session one. Both of these fields are really important to fill. The game system entry is pretty obvious for search purposes, but your listing won't show up on looking for group without a determined future play date. The section down below is to write a description of the game you're playing. Story background, what players might be expected to require to play in your game, that sort of thing. Similarly, the campaign forums are a great place to plan and organize information outside of game sessions. With all that out of the way, it's time to finally put the campaign up on the Looking for Group system. Just click on the big giant button to activate Looking for Group on this campaign. You'll be shuttled to a new page. It'll look and function similarly to the campaign details page, but it's technically an isolated area where potential players can be vetted before gaining access to the campaign itself. This is also where you'll want to advertise how many players you need and how frequently you expect to play your game. It takes about one to two hours for databases to sync before your campaign is officially searchable on the system, but once it is, players will start filtering through. Once vetted, you can then send invites to the players that meet your group criteria. Another way you can find players is by posting or browsing in the Looking for Group subforum. Both players and game masters post ads here. This forum updates pretty constantly, so you might not want to rely on the forum exclusively to fish for players, since your posts might get buried pretty fast by other threads. As a general common courtesy, avoid trying to poach players from another game master's forum threads. It's rude. It's recommended that if you advertise in the Looking for Group forum to add a URL to your Looking for Group listing and not your actual campaign join link. That way you still have a security buffer between potential players and your campaign. Anyone who has the join link can access your campaign. While you can always kick undesirable players, it's easier to just avoid the problem altogether by using a little vigilance on how you distribute your campaign invitations. Since there's always far more players than there are GMs, you should have a full roster of players before too long. Now all that remains is to wait impatiently for your game date to arrive.